Judge Judy endorses Nikki Haley for 2024. I would support her if she were a frog. Hey buddy, welcome to our YouTube channel. Hope you all are so well, so let's begin. Judge Judy Scheindlin, who had only ever publicly endorsed one presidential candidate, Mike Bloomberg in 2020, has now put her reputation and support behind GOP candidate Nikki Haley for the 2024 presidential election. CNN reporter Dana Bash sat down with Judge Judy to discuss why she supports Haley versus Joe Biden and Donald Trump, in video you can watch above. I met Nikki Haley about a year ago, because I was impressed with her four years ago, and when she decided to dip our toe in the water, I said, it's someone who I could embrace, but I first had to meet her, so we spent some time together, Scheindlin told Bash. I was impressed enough with what I heard in her history to travel 1,700 miles tonight to convince whoever I can in the state of New Hampshire that Donald Trump should not be president again and that Joe Biden should not be president again. And Nikki Haley is a chance for America to redeem its rightful place in the world. That's an honest, long-winded reason. Haley brought up Trump's many legal trials and how those are distracting him from his own campaign for his second term in office. She also attributed Trump's presidency to luck, Kados follows him, and right now, he's embroiled in legal, financial, personal, civil, criminal actions, she said. Meet someone who was totally focused on being president of the United States. As for Biden, Scheindlin related to his age and how she balances her health with her demanding position. I never saw him greatness, and neither did anyone else in the then 50 years that Joe Biden was in public office. He was an ordinary guy. He tried president twice and backed out. There was a reason for that, she said. I don't know how it comes about, for the same crazy way it came out that Donald Trump was president for four years. That was the same financing that gave us Joe Biden. Neither one of those two men should be president for another four years. Joe Biden is now older. I'm not going to get into, with you, what everybody talks about with regard to his cognitive ability, but I know he's my age, she added. I run a big business. I'm the matriarch of the family of 20 plus. I make decisions that affect hundreds of people every day. I need a nap in the afternoon. So is Joe Biden, probably too. Nikki Haley is better. When asked if part of her decision to endorse Nikki Haley involved Haley being a woman, Scheindlin shrugged off the point immediately. No, I would support her if she were a frog. She's capable. She's poised. Men can be capable, poised, direct, honest. I don't think she's any of the negatives that I see in the opposition right now, Scheindlin said. I certainly don't think that she's a bully. I certainly don't think that chaos follows her. I certainly don't think that she's unfocused because of everything else that's going on in her life. And I know that she is cognitively stable. So the fact that she's a woman, great, but I'm to vote for her if she were a goat. This endorsement coincides with the third season of Shineland's Justice Judy. Judy Justice Season 3 premiered Monday on Amazon Freebie and Prime Video, with new episodes releasing every weekday until April 5. A second installment of episodes will drop later this year. Judge Judy Scheindlin traveled to New Hampshire to make a campaign appearance Sunday night for Republican presidential candidate Nikki Haley, calling her a star, after the longtime TV fixture endorsed the former U.N. ambassador earlier this month. Scheindlin was the first celebrity endorser for Haley, the former U.N. ambassador and South Carolina governor, who's the last GOP presidential candidate standing against frontrunner, former President Donald Trump. The TV judge wrote in an op-ed for DailyMail.com Wednesday that part of the reason she liked Haley was her relative youth, at 51, compared to 77-year-old Trump and 81-year-old President Joe Biden. I need a nap in the afternoon, so does Joe Biden. Probably too, Scheindlin told CNN's Dana Bash in an interview Monday during her trip to New Hampshire. Haley is campaigning in New Hampshire after bearing DailyMail.com reporters and photographers from her events objecting to coverage of alleged affairs during her time as a state legislator 